Hello and welcome to this beginner tutorial dedicated to CorelDRAW, an outstanding tool for vector drawings and image correction for both Windows and Mac OS. I'm John Riddle and I'll be showing you everything you need to know to start using it. So let's get started. When you open CorelDRAW, its welcome screen shows up with tutorials, tips, news, and your existing documents. To start with a new project, click on New Document and choose between a blank page or a ready template to kickstart your work. In the first case, select a preset and on the right, define name, number of pages, color mode, page size, orientation, and resolution. Once you're satisfied with your settings, click on OK at the bottom to create your new document. This document opens in the center with its own tab on top and its pages at the bottom. On the left side, you have the main toolbar collecting several tools to draw and modify. Some of these buttons group multiple tools that you can show by clicking and holding over these. At the top, you have a useful bar with options that change depending on the tool or the object you have selected. On the right, you get several panels, such as the Property panel or the Learn panel, which shows useful tips for the selected tool. You can open any panel from the Window tab under Dockers. If you prefer a dark interface, you can enable it by going to Tools, Options, and then to Customization. Now let's see how to draw vectors. Vectors are special objects whose shape is defined by algorithms, therefore they never lose quality until you render these in pixels, making these vectors perfect for drawings and sketches. Enable the Freehand tool to draw freely by clicking and dragging on the canvas, adjusting trace width and style from the top. Below such tool, you get other tools for more special sketches, selectable in type and properties from above. Use the Polyline tool to drop straight segments by clicking multiple times and curves by clicking and holding. To finish drawing, close the shape or double-click on the canvas. Enable the three-point curve tool to drop arcs by clicking and dragging and clicking once again. You can use B-spline, Bezier, or Pin to draw curves precisely. With B-spline, you drop curves by clicking multiple times. With Bezier and Pin, click to define straight segments and click and hold to create curves, helping yourself with the blue tangents. Enable any shape tool to drop regular shapes and circles by clicking and dragging on the canvas. Switch to Common Shapes to drop special shapes selected from the top bar. While you draw, use your mouse wheel to zoom in or out. You can also enable or disable drawing aids from the top, such as rulers or grids. You can also manage snapping options from Snap 2, including or not the drawing aids or the object nodes, such as endpoints, edges, or intersections. To manage any vector drawing, enable the Pick tool and click on it to select it. Drag it to move it on the canvas and use its black nodes to scale. Click on the object again to change the nodes in order to rotate or skew. Make sure to move the central node to change the rotation point. To edit the object appearance, select it and use the options from either the top bar or the properties panel on the right. On outline, adjust the line color, width, style, and endpoints. Switch to the Fill section to set the fill color uniformly or apply any gradient. In this case, select any marker to set its color and transparency level as you like. 
You can also apply any vector or bitmap pattern. To edit and correct vector shapes, enable the tools within the second button of the toolbar. With the Shape tool, you can move nodes and tangents to adjust the vector shape, or double-click on its path to add new nodes if you need. Enable the other tools to apply effects by brushing over the selected shape. To drop text, enable the Text tool and click and drag to define the text area and then type in. If the box contours turn red, part of the text content is hidden until you resize the box with the black nodes. Enable the Pick tool to select text and double-click within its box to edit its content. You can change its appearance by selecting it and using the options from the top bar or the Properties panel. Adjust the text font, size, style, text fill, background and outline as you like, and switch to the Paragraph section to set distribution and indentation. Corel Draw is also able to handle images, also known as bitmap objects. With respect to vector objects, these are made of pixels, which may lose quality if you resize these deeply. Go to File, Import to browse for an image to add on your canvas by clicking and dragging on it. Enable the Pick tool to move and edit the image, as seen for vectors, and use the Shape tool to crop the image by modifying its contour. When brushing any effect, this affects only the contour of the image. To apply it to the entire image, you have to transform it into a vector object. To do this, select the image, then go to Trace Bitmap Above. This converts the image into a group of vectors that you can manage and modify. You can also apply effects on the original image by selecting it and opening the Properties panel. On Transparency, you can add transparency uniformly or through gradients or patterns. Switch to Bitmap Effects to browse and apply effects from the plus button at the bottom, adjusting properties while checking the canvas. Under Adjust, you get several effects to make photo corrections, regulating brightness, contrast, saturation levels, and much more. These effects are applied in order from top to bottom. Use the eye icon to enable or disable any effect and drag effects up or down to change their order and sew the final effect on the image. Open the Objects panel to manage all the drawings and images on your document across all the pages and collect it in a single group called Layer 1. You can select any object or an entire layer directly from the Objects panel and either hide or show it on the canvas with the I button. Enable the Lock button to prevent modifications and the FX button to disable or enable any effect if present. You can also drag any object up or down to change the order of visibility if there is overlap. In addition, you can go to New Layer at the bottom to create a new independent group of objects to fill by dragging any object onto it. Now let's see how to apply advanced vector effects. Select any vector object, enable the Effect tool, and click and drag over the drawing to add shadows, contours, or even extrusion, adjusting properties from above. This effect follows the drawing shape even if you edit it later. For example, with the Extrude tool, you apply extrusion to an object, setting direction with the black cross and length with the white bar. Click once again to orbit the extrusion or rotate it in 2D with the green circle. These rotations fix the extrusion permanently, shown by the white cross. You can further customize extrusion properties on top, such as colors or lighting at the top. 
To remove extrusion, simply click on Clear Extrude. To save your project, go to File and then to Save As. Select a CDR file format to save all as a CorelDRAW project document to open and edit it any time. Whereas, select PDF to render and print your document or SVG to upload your design to the web by minimizing the file size without any loss of quality. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful and informative. And remember, for more free tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to go to our website or our YouTube channel. See you next time.